back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i thank you for your love and for your support if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever i upload a new video okay guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this pants this short flare knicker or short pants depends on what you choose to call it some people call it knickers some people call it shorts so that's what we're going to learn how to cut and so some call it short pants so just choose whatever you want to call it if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever i upload a new video and then if you want to register for our online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have available okay guys so before we continue so these are the measurements that i'm going to be using for this short knicker or short pants so the waist measurement is 30 so i'll divide 30 into four and then i'm going to have 7.5 so the, the other measurement that I have here is the hip measurement. So you divide the hip 38 into 4. And then the crouch measurement is 10 inches. So for the crouch, you just sit on a, a, a plain surface. And then you measure from your waist to where you want it to be. But since it is a free, a free pants, I'm going to add 2 inches to it. Because I, I don't want it to be tight. It is a flay. It is a flare pants. So the tie, I'm going to use 30 inches. I'm going to add about 4 inches to it also. And then the length of the pants is 16 inches. So these are just like the basic measurements that I'm going to use. So I folded my pattern paper. I'll draft it on the pattern first before we transfer to the fabric. So you can see since it is a flare, I am using a right angle triangle. That's like 180 degrees. So you see I folded it like an at an angle so the next thing we're going to insert all of our measurements it is a very simple process so i'll measure the length first so like i said the length of the pant because i'm going to add a band to it so i'm just going to come down a little bit so i'll use i'll, I'll use 17 inches here plus allowance i already have allowance on it so that is 17 inches so i'll just mark it so i'll just use that 17 inches to navigate so i just put a straight line here and then i'll use that to navigate the curve you understand just like when you're cutting an a-line dress you know how you navigate to create, create a curve so the next thing we're going to insert all of our measurements so the next thing we're going to start drafting now so if you notice i folded my pattern paper at an angle and then I have some lines which I'm going to explain. So this first line is my start line, which is the waist line. And then this is the hip line. And then this is my crouch line. And then this is the full length. So I'm going to put my tape now and explain that. So you can see the waist measurement. So the, 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 the crouch measurement, like I told you initially, I said I'm going to use 12 inches for the crouch because I want it to be very free. So this is my hip line. And then this is my waistline. So for all of this line, I'm not really going to be at adding any measurement. So I'm just going to use what I have here for the hip. Because I want it to be free. It is not a fitted pant. It's not a fitted knicker, rather. So the next thing, I'm going to come to this point. I'm going to mark the waist measurement. So for the waist, like I said, I'm using 7.5. But because I'm going to add enough allowance to it, because I'm going to still add elastic on it, I'm just going to add one inch. But when I'm transferring to my fabric, I'm still going to add more to this. So I'll show you how when I'm transferring it on my fabric. So on the hip line, so I'm using 40, which is 10. The hip is, is 38. So I'll just use 10 inches, but I'll still add to it when I'm transferring to my fabric. So from here like this, I'll make a curve. And then on the crouch line, so for the crouch line, I'm just going to come in by one inch. And then I'll curve it into my crouch like this. And then from this point, I'll just close here up. So that is how it is. And then this is the side. 
so for the side i'm just going to flay it like this and then i'll curve this out so you can see my pattern here yeah, it is a simple process so i'll cut this out right now so this one also i'm going to use it to cut the back so i'm not going to add any that so i'm not adding any that on this so this is my front pattern so i'll transfer it to the fabric now and then the remaining one i'll cut out the back for you to see also okay guys so i've cut out the the front piece so i added a little bit of allowance to the side because of the waist so now i'm going to take this front piece now to cut out my back piece so for the back piece is only on the crouch side that is where i'm going to increase so i'm just going to increase it with about two just two inches and then on the side just with about half of an inch and then every other part i'm going to cut it to be the same so i'm going to cut so this is the front so you can see the difference and then this is the back so the next thing i'll show you how so i'll just keep the back on the side so for the front i want to add pockets to the front so i'll show you how i'm going to go about that for the pockets so I'll mark my fabric so i know the wrong side So for the pocket, I'm just going to come to this part. So I'll use about five inches. So I use about five or six inches. So that's six inches. I'll come in a little bit with about two inches. And then I'm just going to curve this into here this way. So I'll cut this out my pocket okay all right so like i said i'm not adding any that so the next thing i'll cut out the pocket and then i'll show you how we are going to stitch it it is a very simple process so i'll just cut out the the fabric just a simple fabric Okay guys, so I've cut out the pockets now, so this is it, so I'm going to show you how, I'll just work with one side, how we're going to stitch, this is the pocket side, I'll take, I'll place the, this is the right side, this is the right side, I'm just going to place it like this here, and then I'll take it back to my machine and then I'll stitch this point, I'll go and do that and then I'll bring it back and show you how it will look like, I'll do the same thing to the both pieces okay guys so you can see i finished teaching so now here's what we're going to do so you just trace out that part you can cut this before doing that but most times i usually don't cut so it is now open i'm just going to take this like this and then give it a good ironing like this just ironing down for the pocket and then this one here this is the pocket so you bring this back so i'm so sorry the length that i use that's the wideness of my fabric that i use for the is about 11 inches that's that i cut out 11 inches long and then i have about just about 11 11 so this now you take this and then you turn so I'll keep this on the side so you don't get confused i'll turn this to the side so i just fold it in like this so you can see my pocket here now so what i'm going to do now is to take it back to my machine and then i'll secure here which is the waist and then on this part i'll stitch it from the inside like this just create this curve like this so i'll stitch it like this 
just stitch it up to this point like this stitch it around like this that's all so i'll do the same thing to this side i'll go and do that and then i'll bring it back and show you how we'll join the back and the front together that's the, the two front crotch okay guys you can see how the pocket looks like it looks great guys you can see so that's it for the pocket so this is the second one also it looks good so the next thing you just want to join it on the crouch part that's the front crouch like this and then the back crouch also like this so for this i'm going to add a zip to the back since it is not a stretchy fabric so the zip is going to be at the back so i'm going just going to take from my zip allowance for that from the back crouch that's where i'll add my zip to so i'll go and join them together and then come back and show you how to join front and back together also okay guys so you can see this looks so really lovely so you can see the the fullness of the the, the nika it looks so good so i just love how it is looking like so you can see it from the inside so we are almost done with our short flay nika so you just take the back piece like this and then i'm going to join them together like this so you can see so what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to join the side first so for the side i'll just take this like this and then i'll use just a quarter of an inch here and then this so the back is bigger so don't just shift it in a little bit and then this also i will join and then after joining i'm just left with the center part so for the center i'm just going to take this i'll match this to this and then i'll join it here and then join this here so that's that that's what i'll go and do and then i'll come back and show you how it looks like okay guys so you can see how beautiful our flare nika looks like it really came out well so beautiful so you can see my pockets came out really fine so the next thing what is remaining for me is just for me to add my band and then add a zip to the back so for the band i'm going to so i've done i've showed you guys how to sew a band on this channel a band a waistband how to actually do a waistband is a simple process so i'm just going to cut out my fabric so i've already cut out the fabric that i'm going to use for this waistband okay so the next thing is just for me to stitch it around it so i'll open this back part and then i will go and stitch it so i just made a simple straight band because i'm going to add elastic to it so i don't need to start covering the waist area so what i'm going to do i'll show you guys how to stitch it for those people that are beginners that don't know how to stitch do this from the back i'm going to take the this is the right side of my band so from this is my zip allowance for the back piece so i'll just go and then stitch it all around it so i'll do that and then come back and show you okay guys so you can see just like i explained i've added my band so you can see so you just stitch it from the inside and then you turn it outside for this band you can actually uh, add a steel to it so i decided not to do that it is still okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is just for me to secure this down so the way i'm going to secure it down i just made it on the right side so i'm just going to take like a quarter of an inch here and then i'm going to i'm going to give it a for this you really need a stable hand to be able to do this so i'll just i'll just fold this a little bit and then i'm going to use the same line here that's this initial line that i'm that i stitched it on i'll just fold it like this and then i'm going to start stitching it along this line like this i'll stitch it so you can see i'll just place it very well make sure that this one is inside and then i'll start stitching so you can decide to iron this before you actually do this and then i'll secure it around 
So after securing it around, I have my band perfectly placed on my on my sneaker, and then I'll just attach the zip on the back. So guys, that is how I've now come to the end of this tutorial. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. So I'm going to drop a link on how to do this band perfectly well on the description box so you can see it and then follow this. So if you are using a stretchy fabric, you don't need to add a zip to it. So you can just...